Careful, there are necromancers about. Walk softly, friend. Worm cult necromancers infest these swamps. They've harassed Orai's village for days. I don't know why, but Chieftain Sulak should. Her wisdom saw us through the rough times. Our scouts let you through, yes? You have courage to visit Stillrise Village despite the necromancers who torment us. The Worm Cult necromancers encamped nearby raided our village last night. We trapped three of their lieutenants inside our huts, but they refused to surrender. Our scouts call them Gorag, Felra, and Dragwar. We tricked them into the cellars below our huts and bolted the doors. Perhaps you can convince them to surrender. If you confront them, Still Rise Village would call you a friend. Our warriors guard the huts where the cultists are trapped. Unbolt the cellar doors to gain access. So far they've refused to see reason. If it must come to blows with their lieutenants, I understand. Still Rise Village keeps to itself. Because of this, they think we'd make perfect slaves. My what? Oh, it's... We're Kothringi. After the Great Plague from decades past, I fear Still Rise Village is the last of our people. knack for stumbling across those things. Anything useful? If you won't bow to us, you'll die the final death.
underestimating you was their last mistake. This is a great area for harvesting. War Chief Halush's runners told me the worm cultists wouldn't surrender. Unfortunate, but no fault of yours. Still Rise Village is in your debt. In truth, I feared the Worm Cult Lieutenants went to our cellars on purpose to work dark magics from within our village. Well... You've proven yourself a friend of our village. As a friend, we'll entrust you with our secret. It's simpler to show than explain. Please, do not be alarmed. I like campfires. They attract interesting people. Fear not. We're the same people we were before we gained this... affliction. Years ago, a terrible sickness swept through our lands. I had to do something to keep my people safe. It's why I made a deal with the Daedra. Before the sickness, our miners uncovered an old temple to Clavicus Vile. When we were dying, I sought the Daedric Prince of Bargains to save our village at any cost. I begged the Daedra for immunity to the sickness. You can see the cost. Last night, the cultists stole the Soul Gem Array, the relic holding our spirits. In time, they'll use it to enslave us. We mustn't become thralls of the Worm Cult. Shaman Chira has a plan to stop them, but it will require your aid. Please, speak with him. You're the one who killed the Worm Cult's lapdogs. Chieftain Sulak told you the Worm Cult stole the Soul Gem Array, yes? Once they discover its secrets, they'll enslave our entire village. Yes, if it isn't too late already. When Clavicus Vile cursed us with his hollow existence, he placed our spirits in the Soul Gem Array. It must be recovered. Easier said than done. 
The energies protecting the relic kill living creatures who touch it. But there's a way. Make an offering to Clavicus Vile, and the Soul Gem Array will think you're one of us. Then you can recover it safely from the Worm Cult. Take this totem. War Chief Elush can let you inside the Daedric Prince's temple. Once inside, place the totem upon the Blood Fountain as an offering to Clavicus Vile. I fear there's little time before the Worm Cult discovers the secrets of the Soul Gem Array. Be quick before they add us to their ranks. Yet another benefit of this damnable curse. Decades ago, the Nahatan flu swept through the land. The children were first. By Zen, I can still see the bodies. But Zen couldn't save us. So at Chieftain Sulak's behest, I prayed to Clavicus Vile. He bestowed this mockery of salvation upon us. You call this survival? To never again taste guar flesh, nor feel a lover's touch. We are but shadows in the water. Some feel the curse is a dangerous, cruel jest. Yet I thank Clavicus Vile for a vital lesson. Immortality is the true curse, you see? Eternal life is full of advantages. No need to pull your blows when training. What do you need, stranger? That fool thinks worm cultists can sway the proud warriors of Stillrise Village, does he? I'd say the man lacked a spine. I couldn't see it for myself. We have no hearts to fill with fear or blood to earn cold. No blow is mortal. We're unstoppable. We can die. We can fall for a time. It's how the cultist overpowered one of Shaman Chira's acolytes and stole the Soul Gem Array. Here's the temple key. When you're done, bring it to Acolyte Morag and tell her not to lose this one too, would you? A shame your flesh and blood. I'd let you train, but my warriors might forget your squishy parts. We need no sleep or food. There's no sickness and no pain. If I fall in battle, I recover. I don't care if I can't see, taste, or feel the same way I used to. Clavicus Vile's blessing makes us perfect warriors. Sure, the ones with marrow where it counts. The rest listen to Shaman Chira whine about a curse. But they'll come around. I'll do what I've always done. Protect my people, and themselves if necessary. We need no sleep or food. There's no sickness and no pain. If I fall in battle, I become... Shaman Chira couldn't tell his coccyx from a hole in the ground. As for Chieftain Sulak, well... She needs to stop regretting who we once were and consider what we can become. Sure, the ones with marrow where it counts. The War Chief has plans for us. Gift? How thoughtful! 
But I can't accept it without providing one of my own. I know. I'll share the same gift I gave Still Rise Village. Now you can play Skiva Wicket with your own skull. <laughs> Shaman Shira told me to expect you, but wait, something's off. Beyond your flesh and blood, I mean. Sends blessings. The curse upon you is temporary. You can safely recover the soul gem array. I'm positive. Shaman Shira and I studied the curse for decades. This is Clavicus Vile's way of being playful, I suppose. Though I don't presume to know the intentions of any Daedric prince. No, despite what War Chief Halushk would tell you, sheer force can pummel us into the ground. Without Shaman Shira's magic, my bones would still be in the pile where the Worm Cult left me. Lousy mushroom nibblers. Healing magic works. We often use magical fonts recovered from the temple, like the one next to me. The cultist took one last night, but Shaman Shira has another. The rest are inside the temple. You're welcome to use them while you're still underfed. Lucky for us, I think ahead. Years ago, I fastened one of my toe knuckles to the soul gem array. I can sense it's still in their nearby camp. After you give those moss gargling cultists a good pounding, bring it straight to Chieftain Sulak. I'll give up this prize easily? After I kill you, I'll make you my slave. Steel.
You've returned. Did you recover the Soul Gem Array? Then the Worm Cult holds no power over our village. But now, neither do I. Due to the theft of the Soul Gem Array, the War Chief and Shaman asked me to step down. But as they dispute our future, it's my right to appoint an Arbiter. So I appoint you. The fate of Stillrise Village must be decided.